Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire laptop. And this one is an Acer Aspire ES15, also known as an ES1-531-C45U. That's a big number, but this model, they do come with an Intel Celeron processor in 3050 and 4GB of RAM and 1TB mechanical drive. I made a video how to upgrade the hard drive. And in this video, we're going to cover up how you can upgrade the RAM. They do come with a 4 gig RAM. And these processors, they do uh, hold up up to 8 gig. And I made a video to show you guys how you can find out what's your maximum RAM capacity. I'll leave that link in my video description. It's a one minute long video. And with that, you can see your maximum real capacity of the RAM. So you don't have to actually take my word for it, what's the maximum. If yours says, Four, you have to go with a 4 gig RAM. If your RAM capacity is 8 gig, you can open it up and upgrade to 8 gig. And I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade on this video. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to turn it up, put it upside down, face down, and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws in here. And so, what we're going to do, we're going to grab a screwdriver and we're going to remove all the screws. Remember, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all the screws. And I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one from this set. I love this screwdriver set because they have an S2 class steel. That means they're really tough in steel bits. And they will last you uh, longer than the rest of the competitors. And if you want to get a pro version, you'll get an opening tools and tweezers and some few other stuff. If you don't want to get that, just grab yourself at least a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really good for opening covers and cases. With all those on hand, let's go ahead and remove all the screws on the bottom cover. Also, if you guys like my content, and if my content helps you guys out through your upgrade or servicing, and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking like and subscribe to the channel. I am really appreciate it. It will be a great motivation. For me to take requests, answer your comments. Alright, once we remove all the screws, we're gonna remove this fake dummy caddy here. Alright, and we're gonna put it to one side. Now we're gonna grab our opening tool, in this case, a guitar pick, and we're gonna open up the laptop about 45 degrees, a little bit somewhere over there. And we're going to stick this guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And we're just going to wiggle it around until we see this kind of opening. You should hear a few clicks. Those are the clicks that are getting loose. You want to loosen up the front and go side over the DVD drive and to the left and the right side. You want to go do this all. And you're going to see an opening right there. Now, you don't want to yank on this one because there's uh, two flex cables we need to loosen up. I'm going to show you after once I remove this how I remove them because it's really hard to focus in there. So pretty much there's a trigger right here by this big flex cable. I'm going to push it towards the back end a little bit and there's one on the other side so in here. So I'm going to push this one back too and I can slide the flex cable towards the back side. Now in this one for this one I have to just lift up the hinge on the cover here and the flex cable will go back. Now I'm going to open up the laptop to normal position. I'm going to lift it up straight up and this should be your palm rest. So these are the flex cable that we removed. And the way I removed it, it's going to be really easy to know. It's really simple. This is for the keyboard. I just push this one towards the screen a little bit and this side too. So you push this both side towards the screen and the flex cable will slide out. Once you put the flex cable all the way in, you want to pull this tool back so you pinch it right in there. For this one, I just put my finger right underneath here and lift it up 90 degrees and the flex cable slides out. Put the flex back in, lock it in there so you pinch right in there. Alright, now down here we don't see any RAM or anything. We see the hard drive, the battery, the fan and the Wi-Fi board, expansion board right there. So but we don't see any RAM. First thing first, we're going to remove the battery by pulling these two triggers back okay evenly you want to pull them evenly back pull them side you want to disconnect the speaker cable by pulling this the same thing as battery this one back 
we're gonna remove this bridge cable right here by lifting up the jack 90 degrees and slide out you're gonna remove the flex cable for the screen you do need a tweezers to do make the life easy so grab your pair of tweezers lift up this paper and now there's a lock right there lift it up 90 degrees slide out the flex cable for the LCD we do need to remove the one screw on the um, Wi-Fi board tiny screw one screw right on the motherboard right here by the DVD connector and we're gonna remove one screw by the fan right here and we do need to untangle this cable from here so pull this cable out the flex cable just pull it out Make sure you leave it on there so it's not being pinched by this thing. We're gonna remove the Wi Fi cable connector right here. You're just gonna put it to one side, leave it right there. We're gonna remove the hard drive by removing one screw on the corner on the side. We're gonna slide the hard drive back. You could have done this before removing this screw so the motherboard doesn't come. So I'm holding the motherboard and I'm pulling this hard drive back and remove the hard drive. Now we're going to lift up the motherboard. There is a little power jack connector right in here. So untangle this right there. Zigzag it, bring it out. There you go. Now you can pick up the motherboard and flip it over. And there's your RAM on the other side. And this is a horrible cooling. Uh, it just uh, there's no condenser or anything like here. It's just like a one sheet of aluminium or not even copper aluminium. It goes over here and the fan is just pretty much blowing through, and it's not even cooling anything. It's just so softly cooling something, but it's not a really good one. But yeah. Anyway, to remove the RAM is right over here. To remove it, you need to pull these two triggers away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you want to do is to pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. Just make sure that the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM dim, which is right over here. So if you try to put the RAM the other way around in, it will not go through. So make sure the notch matches. So if you have an 8 gig DDR3L, make sure it's on DDR3L, the L stands for low voltage. If you put a regular DDR3, it will not work, it has to be a low voltage. You want to bring it down in 45 degree towards the jack and you want to push it from the middle towards the motherboard. And you should hear a soft click, just like that. And this clips, it stays straight. So remove, pull out, put in all the way towards the jack and towards the motherboard and make sure these triggers are locked in all right once you've got the ram in there you want to grab the let's put this one at the end first make sure all the cables are out of the way bring the io side down plug it in there pull these cables back pull the wi-fi card out make sure nothing is pinched in there this cable out of the way now Okay, once you have it in this position, let's go ahead and put one screw for the motherboard right in there. Uh, one screw for the fan right in there. You're going to plug in the Wi-Fi board. Just bring it underneath. There's a jack right in there. Push it in there and bring it towards the screw hole and screw it down. All right, now we're going to put this cable here, the power jack. Bring it on, zigzag it right in there. Bring it and just push it down. It should just sit right in there. Put the speaker and jack right in there. Bring it evenly in and just pinch it right through. Leave it in there. Grab the hard drive. Put it down. Slide it towards the jack. Put the single screw that holds the caddy in place. All right. Put the bridge cable. Lift up the lock. Slide it right underneath. Lock it down. The flex cable for the screen. Zigzag it right through. Make sure you go through the hinges. Bring it over. Unlock right there. And bring it right over. And 
align it right there and close it and put this thing on top right, I think I was out of focus right there so what I did in here it was the power jack again let me just go over I just zigzag that right there bring it punch it right through there they screw for the hard drive and the bridge cable right there put the jack for the speaker and the screw right there and the screw for here and the flex cable for the LCD just run it right over there and the last thing down here would be to just grab the power jack make sure it's evenly aligned and push it right through the jack pretty much we are done down here and all you need to do is to grab the pommes you can do a test before you put the cover on you can just turn it on by pressing this button and to see if you get a screen or no I don't know if I have battery my battery is drained so I'm gonna actually plug in the charger once you get on the screen that means you are ready to go so I'm gonna power it on I see light and once I see a screen I'm just gonna turn it off there you go there's no hard I don't have I haven't installed any windows in here so it says no boot media because I don't have any windows on my solid stage right because I just made a video how to upgrade so that's that now what we need to do is to grab the palm rest bring it over align it right in there and we're gonna close it down in 45 degree angle now we're gonna come to the tricky part we're gonna open up the lock for the keyboard grab it from somehow in there and slide it from the back towards the jack all the way in and lock it in there and bring it close the jacks right on top open the lock for the trackpad bring it on and lock it in there and last thing would be to just pinch the top and the bottom cover with two hands just pinch them make sure you push down the sides down all the way towards the back corner everything pinch them together close the lid uh, flip it upside down and the last thing down here to finish it up put the caddy for the dummy caddy right there and put the bottom screws right at the cover remember the screws they don't have any size differences so they go anywhere in the screw holes i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click the like button and think about subscribing if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up this screw